EXP, Real, and LPT. Right now in the real estate industry, I would say those are the top three brokerages when it comes to the newer model of a revenue share and stock. What's up guys, my name is Casey McHugh and I'm a licensed real estate agent in the Dallas Fort Worth area of Texas. And before we get this video started, I do want to make a couple points. Now, I definitely have explained a handful of other brokerages and how they compete against other competing brokerages, but I do wanna start this video out by first and foremost saying that this is solely for educational purposes only. This is not to attack one or the other or all three brokerages. This is simply to be used by agents that are trying to be able to compare EXP, Real, and LPT. Now, I also will make a caveat here too. I have experience at EXP Realty. I was licensed agent from 2017 to 2020. I hit Icon three years in a row. Then I made the transition over to Real Brokerage and I've been there and still am today for the last three years. As far as LPT goes, it's a newer brokerage. I'm not the strongest as far as knowledge when it comes to LPT, but I'm going to be doing my best based off of the public information that they have, as well as reaching out to a couple LPT agents myself. So if I do by chance mention something at any of these three brokerages that isn't entirely correct, make sure to let me know and I will pin a comment in the comment section down below. My intent again is not to persuade an agent one way or another, but to simply lay out the facts for what each brokerage offers. Now to give you even more of a background on me, I am a prior high school teacher with a degree in mathematics, so numbers are certainly my game. This entire video is going to be full of numbers, so if you need to pause this video at any time or if you have additional questions, you can reach out to me on Instagram, you can shoot me an email or even a comment in the comment section down below. So let's jump right into things and probably the most important if you are a newer agent or maybe you're an agent that hasn't built up a significant amount of production yet, you're probably caring the most about, hey, how much in fees am I paying on a monthly and annual basis? Now, before I start breaking down every single one of these fees, because as I mentioned before, there are going to be a lot of numbers and a lot of things to keep track of, I'm gonna simply go EXP, Real, and LPT Realty in that order for the entire video, just for simplicity purposes. So where do we start first? Well, we start with the signup fee. For any kind of brokerage you join, there's likely going to be some early entry, you know, kind of initial fee that you've got to pay at eXp Realty, it's going to be a $149 startup fee. That is a one-time fee that you pay to join the brokerage and you never pay it again, unless you leave the brokerage and come back. Now, Real Brokerage, again, has an initial fee of $249 and LPT has no startup fee. Now is monthly fees. Well, eXp Realty has an $85 a month fee. You pay that regardless if you close any transactions or not. So it roughly is about a little over $1,000 a year and that's actually taxed. So it's going to be about $1,100 to $1,200 a year or maybe closer to that $100 a month mark. Now let's jump over to Real Brokerage. Now Real Brokerage does not have a specific monthly fee, but it does have an annual fee that's taken out of your first three transactions. Meaning if you complete one transaction in the first 12 months, you're going to be paying $250. If you close two, you'll pay 500. And if you close at least three within that 12 month period, you're gonna be paying the annual fee of $750. And last but not least, LPT does have an annual fee that's taken out of, again, your first transaction for $500. So just to recap again, EXP will be charging you on a monthly basis, Real will be charging you based on your first three transactions, and LPT will be charging you on your first transaction. Now let's jump into probably the largest expense that a realtor is going to incur when it comes to their brokerage expenses. And that's gonna be your cap and split. First things first, eXp has an 80-20 split. If you don't know what that means, it means you as the agent are going to keep 80% and eXp is going to be taking 20. And that's going to cap or finish at $16,000. Jumping over to the real brokerage, they have an 85-15 split, meaning again, you are holding on to 85%, the brokerage is taking 15% and that caps at 12,000. And last but not least, LPT Realty has two options. Technically, one of them is very similar to eXp's and that is a cap and split option, 80-20 split with a $15,000 cap. Now they do, unlike eXp and Real, they actually have a second option. That second option is going to be based Based on your transactions. You're going to have a $5,000 cap. Every single transaction you do, you'll be charged $500. And again, that caps at 10 transactions or $5,000. Now, I do want to preface this because it is important. Any agent at eXp and any agent at Real Brokerage can participate and qualify for revenue share. Again, I'm going to be getting into that a little bit later. But LPT, if you choose to go the route of transaction fee only that caps at $5,000, you are not eligible for revenue share. Now, again, 
you can opt to transfer over to the 80-20 split and pay your $15,000 cap. But if you are only paying transaction fees and going that route, you are not gonna be eligible. Now beyond your startup fee, your monthly fee, and your cap and split, there's gonna be one additional route that brokerage is gonna be charging you when it comes to fees, and that's gonna be transaction fees. Now I do wanna start off by saying there's gonna be transaction fees based on the brokerage you're looking at before you cap, and there's gonna be transaction fees that will be different once you actually cap. Now all of these transactions, as I mentioned before, have a little bit different cap. That cap is based off of your split. And just to give you a quick reminder, EXP is at 16,000, real is at 12,000, and LPT, if you're going the split and cap route, is 15. So let's start with EXP Realty's transaction fees. They're going to have a $25 broker review fee. That broker review fee is going to be on essentially every single transaction. That's what they use to pay for the broker to review your file. In addition to the broker review fee, EXP Realty will have a $40 ENO fee. That ENO fee is roughly going to cap at $500. So once you've paid that $500 for the year, you won't be paying that $40 transaction fee. Now, once you do cap at eXp Realty, which means you've paid your $16,000 cap, you're going to incur a $250 transaction fee. Now this does indeed cap as well. That's going to roughly cap at $5,000. Now, once you have paid that $250 transaction fee, enough to accumulate your $5,000 in transaction fees, that 250 now goes down to 75 until you reset the next year. Now, I do want to put a caveat or an asterisk here because it is important to notate. If you do cap out at that transaction fee cost of $5,000 within your year, you are going to be awarded your ICON award. But ICON award, I will be going into a little bit later. Now let's jump over to Real, which their transaction fee is going to be broken all into one. It's called a BOP fee or a broker review, ENO, and processing fee. And that's going to be $30 for every transaction you incur throughout your year. Now, in addition to that, they also are going to incur, similar to EXP, a post cap fee. That post cap fee is going to be $285 a transaction, and that $285 will cap at $6,000. Once you've paid $6,000, that will go from $285 down to $129. So as far as real, you've got your BOP fee, your post cap transaction fee at 285. And again, it lowers to 129 once you reach 6,000 in post cap transaction fees. And last but not least, LPT Realty is gonna make it nice and simple for us. They have one transaction fee for every single transaction throughout the entire year, regardless how much you produce or don't. And that's gonna be $195 a transaction. But enough about transaction fees. Let's jump over to really the fun part about this revolutionary real estate model. Now, first and foremost, I do have to say thank you to eXp Realty. eXp Realty is really the first and foremost real estate brokerage that unveiled this model. Now, yes, Keller Williams had profit share, which I'm not going to get into because there is a huge difference in profit share versus revenue share. But since then, there has been other competition such as Real Brokerage, again, the brokerage I'm at, and LPT Realty, as well as a handful of others that are trying to compete in this space as well. So how does stock work and how do you get it? Well, first and foremost, there is going to be a little bit of an asterisk here because one of the three brokerages is not publicly traded. Without it being publicly traded, it's going to be hard to compare apples to apples. So I'm going to do my best here. I have been at eXp. I'm at Real Brokerage now, and I've got a good idea of what LPT is offering, but LPT is currently the brokerage that is not publicly traded. So with that being said, starting with eXp, you can technically purchase stock out of your transaction. You can opt in to basically put 5% aside. That 5% of every single one of your transactions then goes towards buying eXp stock at a 10% discount. Now jumping over to Real Brokerage, it's a little bit more difficult to understand in this case because they aren't just giving you a flat discount, they're giving you a bonus. Now that bonus is going to be given before you cap and then it's gonna grow exponentially in terms of what they bonus you after you cap. Now to give you guys some quick numbers, you put 5% of your transaction away, similar to eXp, before you cap and they will bonus you 15%. Now you can increase that after you cap to a whole 10% of your transaction and they will bonus you 30%. Now, rather than confusing you with a bunch of numbers and how much they're gonna truly bonus you, I'm just gonna give you a flat rate. Every single year, you're roughly going to be given about $5,000 a year at real brokerage and bonus stock. Now that $5,000 though does come with an asterisk. That $5,000, including the stock that you purchased within your transaction, has to be held for a year. It essentially has a year vesting period. Then all of that $5,000 is gonna be available for you to do whatever you'd like with. 
Now, I do want to make a direct comparison on this because I have experienced both at eXp and Real Brokerage. Roughly, you're going to be capping that bonus out at Real Brokerage after you do about $250,000 in gross commission income. Meaning if I go off and sell enough homes to accumulate $250,000 in GCI and I opt into their stock purchase program, I will be awarded within 12 months that $5,000 in stock bonus. Now to give you guys a direct comparison over at eXp Realty, again, I do wanna make an asterisk here. These are two different stocks. No one really is gonna be able to tell you whose stock is gonna go where, but in order to accumulate about $5,000 in additional stock, which at real brokerage, you only have to do about 250K in GCI, you're gonna to have to do about a million dollars in GCI or about four times as much at eXp Realty. Now to give you some quick numbers there, a million in GCI, if you're putting 5% aside to be able to buy stock on every single one of your transactions, that's $50,000. They bonus you based off of that 10% discount. That 10% discount, 10% of 50,000 is your 5,000 equating what you would essentially get at the real brokerage. Now let's jump over to LPT Realty and the option that they have when it comes to purchasing stock within your transaction. And this is kind of the downside of comparing brokerages that aren't exactly apples to apples. Well, LPT as of right now is not publicly traded. It is September of 2023. I've heard a lot of different people saying, hey, we're gonna be publicly traded by this set time. Really only the future can tell. I'm going to guess and base it off of another person's comments saying that they look to be publicly traded by the fall of 2024. So right now, technically you can't purchase any stock or get any kind of discount or I guess take advantage of the publicly traded stock because again, LPT right now is not publicly traded. So how about earning stock in additional ways? Now, there's gonna be a lot of ways that you can earn stock, but the main three are gonna be when you cap do a certain amount of transactions, or you attract an agent. So let's start with eXp. eXp has made it very simple, and they haven't really changed this in quite some time. So the numbers I'm going to be giving you are probably going to stay the same with eXp. Your first transaction every single year, you get a flat rate of $200. You just divide that based off of the current stock price, and that's how many shares you get. Jumping over to when you cap, again, you're gonna get a flat rate of $400, divide that by where the current stock price is, and that's how many shares you get. And last but not least, if you attract an agent at eXp Realty, again, similar to capping, you're gonna get a $400 payout. Now let's jump over to the real brokerage. The real brokerage technically does not pay out any stock on your first transaction. What it will pay out is your cap. Once you do cap, they are not gonna be a dollar amount. They're going to be a share amount. As of right now, you're gonna be given 150 shares of real stock. And if you decide to attract an agent, you're gonna be given 75 shares. Now LPT Realty is gonna be doing something very similar to the other two brokerages as well. They're gonna be giving you stock based on your first, your third, and your 15th transaction. Technically, they're also going to be giving you stock based on your 35th transaction, but I'm gonna be getting into that award in just a second. Now, I will put an asterisk here for the amount of shares that LPT Realty is gonna be given for every single one of these because as of right now, all I have is information leading to the end of June, and well, it is September, so I don't know, and I'm pretty sure that these stocks have gone down a little bit since then. Now, last, but certainly not the least when it comes to receiving shares at any one of these brokerages, I would say this is the most lucrative option as far as the company paying back its agents that produce. We're talking about the Icon program at eXp, the Elite program at Real Brokerage, or the Black Badge Award at LPT Realty. So let's jump into eXp's Icon program. Now that Icon program is a program I hit three years in a row. That program itself requires you to pay that $16,000 cap. It then requires you to also accumulate those $5,000 in transaction fees. So you're totaling about $21,000 at that point, excluding all the other miscellaneous fees that they may have. So you're in for about 21,000 and they pay then at that point, once you hit icon, they pay out $16,000 in company stock. Now they don't initially pay out all of that 16,000 though. They immediately pay 8,000 and then they've got two different requirements to accumulate the additional four and four. Those two different requirements are going to be you have to attend two of their events. And then the other opportunity to accumulate the other $4,000, you actually have to fulfill their cultural requirement. So yes, yeah, $16,000, $8,000 initially, four for attending two of their events, and the other four for hitting that cultural requirement. Now let's jump over to the Real Brokerage and the Elite Agent program that they have there. Now over at Real Brokerage, you do have to pay a $12,000 cap. That $12,000 cap 
is in addition to the $6,000 in transaction fees that you accumulate after you cap. If you add 12 and six, you get 18,000, plus again, the other miscellaneous fees that you may accumulate over time, but roughly about $18,000 in company stock. Now they pay out 24,000. Now, similar to EXP, they don't pay all of that out immediately. EXP, again, immediately pays out eight of the 16 and Real Brokerage immediately pays out 16 of its $24,000 company stock award. Now, in order to earn that $8,000 in additional stock from the company, it's going to be similar to EXP. You're gonna have to fulfill their cultural requirement. So again, just to recap here, EXP pays out 16 after you've roughly paid 21,000. Real pays out 24,000 after you've roughly paid 18. Now moving over to LPT Realty, again, they are not publicly traded. They are not gonna be giving a certain amount of dollar of shares. So again, for instance, EXP gives 16,000, Real gives 24,000. LPT is not going to be giving a dollar amount of shares. What they will be giving is if you choose to go the route of paying the split and paying the cap of $15,000, they are gonna be giving you 3,150 shares. Now, they do make an asterisk on their website and publicly state that this could technically be adjusted based off of the top 1% and the top 10%. I know having been with EXP for three years and now being removed from EXP for three and a half, they've adjusted slightly their icon program, but not to the tune of based off of their one and 10%. And Real hasn't adjusted their elite program at all. Technically, they've made it even easier to hit. So this is going to be a big question moving forward is if they do get a lot of producing agents or vice versa, they don't. I'm curious to see how this is going to sway based off of the top 1% and the top 10%. Now, again, without knowing a ton of information when it comes to LPT's nitty gritty details, they do mention that you're gonna have to fulfill some kind of leadership and cultural requirement in order to obtain these shares. And in addition to that, it also states that you may be eligible for some kind of multiplier option if you join the company early enough. But despite all of these different stock opportunities at all of these different brokerages, they all have a three-year vesting period. Now, the intent here is to retain agents as much as they possibly can, and that's the intent with the stock awards. The only stocks that aren't going to be having any kind of vesting is those that you purchase out of your transaction. But any kind of stocks that were awarded to you, we're talking capping, we're talking attraction, completing any deals, or any kind of you know high production kind of threshold when it comes to any of these three brokerages, those are all gonna have a three year of vesting time. But that's enough about stocks, guys. Let's jump over to really what has changed my life, and that's gonna be revenue share. Now, as I mentioned before, EXP, I have to certainly thank for unveiling the model that offers this stock and offers revenue share. I took advantage of the opportunity at EXP, moved over to real, and it truly has changed my life. But what I'm going to be doing is breaking down every single one of these three models when it comes to their revenue share program, because every single one of these are slightly different and could certainly benefit every single agent based on their current situation. Now, before we get into things, revenue share, if you don't know what it is, it's basically the opportunity for agents who help grow the company, whether or not you want to call it recruiting, attracting, or just bringing a friend into the brokerage. Every single agent that brings on an agent has a potential opportunity to build wealth. Now, where this becomes very powerful is when you actually have multiple agents that you've brought on, that those agents start to bring in additional agents. But let's jump right into EXP Realty's revenue share program. A majority of their $16,000, which again is the cap that you pay at EXP Realty, is gonna be paid out based on their revenue share program, either mostly at the top or mostly at the bottom. If you look at this breakdown, you can see a majority is taken out of the first couple levels and the majority of the rest is taken out of tiers six and seven. Now, I will make a comment here because EXP has been very public about this based off of the amount of revenue share that they are paying out, they will increase your revenue share or they will decrease it really to hit that threshold of the company paying out 50% of its revenue. Now, one of the only requirements that it takes to be able to unlock each one of these tiers at every single one of these brokerages is the amount of front qualifying agents that are producing. Meaning at eXp Realty, you essentially need to have any agent that you bring on to be able to qualify and collect off of them. But if they bring on an agent, you need to have five. And it continues to tier down from five to 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. 
Now, before I jump over to the real brokerage and break down their model, I'm actually going to be doing an even deeper breakdown of the revenue share at all of these brokerages in a separate video. That's actually going to be linked in the description below. Make sure to check that out if you really are adamant about learning the differences between these companies revenue share. So let's jump over to the real brokers. They actually recently this week in September of 2023 have made an updated change to their revenue share program. Now, as you can also see based on this graphic, the payout is a little bit differently. Now, the intent here with the real brokerage is to pay out the direct agent that likely has the most amount of impact in your business, the most amount of revenue. So yes, real brokerages initially starts at 4,000 or about a third of the $12,000 cap that you pay. It tiers down about $800 per level all the way down to tier five, which is $800 per agent. Also, when it comes to the real brokerage, they are technically the highest paying brokerage when it comes to revenue share. They are actually public about paying up to 60% of the company dollar. So now let's jump over to LPT Realty, which unfortunately, since they do have two different kind of models, it becomes a little bit more difficult, but I will make it as easy as I can for you. Again, similar to EXP, they have seven different levels. They do require a certain amount of agents on every single level in order for you to qualify or I guess collect on that level. Now, as you can see on that graphic, they are far less agents that are going to be required in order for you to collect. But also on the flip side, there's going to be a lot less revenue share that you can collect, which I'm going to get into in my next video when it comes to LPT Realty, if you want to directly compare it to a real or EXP. And also again, similar to EXP Realty, LPT has been very public about how much they're willing to pay out. And that's gonna be 50% of the company dollar. And that basically sums it up guys, but I do want to end it with this. Some things that I didn't cover in this video is leadership. I personally have been at EXP and Real, and I know a little bit about the leadership at LPT, but if you're looking at one of these three brokerages, make sure you look into the leadership, make sure you get an idea of what their culture is about, make sure you get connected with agents within the company to see that it's going to be a good fit, or maybe it won't be a good fit. And last but not least, I didn't go into a lot of the you know additional things that each brokerage offers. For instance, Real Brokerage has its own title company, and you can join the joint venture with in Reels Title Company. I know LPT has a ton of marketing opportunities. And again, I didn't go into a ton of the nitty gritty details when it comes to all three of these brokerages. I would say EXP has EXP World. LPT has a ton of marketing opportunities because of the individual CEO of LPT comes from that as far as his background and real brokerage, for instance, has a joint venture title company opportunity. None of that stuff I got into in this video just for the sake of trying to keep it short. But if you do have any questions in particular that I didn't answer, make sure to reach out to me personally or leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help and stay tuned for the next video.